this bathroom is an old style 1960s type bathroom and it had a lot a lot of issues going on with it from back when it was built till now. Part of which had to do with some wood rot around the toilet area. Part of it had to do with a lot of wood rot around the bathtub area. So this has all been torn out in advance. I can't show you what it looked like, nor does it really matter at this point. This is going to get a complete makeover. A new bathroom will be here. It'll be much nicer than it was before. The, the supply line for the vanity um, has been taken out. I cut that out because eventually the vanity will not fit unless I move those lines back. So that's going to happen. Toilet will stay where it's at. And this will become a little bit larger shower than it was a shower tub combo which originally it was, so it's going to be basically a tub to uh, shower conversion. And uh, this is day one. The process will take me probably about 10 days, even though it's a small bathroom, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on here. I have to, I have to refasten all this wood. This, it looks like it's been through a fire. It's just really rotted bad. So all that stuff, there's a lot of prep that has to happen and including getting this drain which got broke off and I'm not going to use that anyway so there'll be a two inch drain there there'll be a lot of stuff going on I will probably most likely do a little series of all the various steps that it's going to take to get this back to um, a functional bathroom again and so I will get started and uh, as the process progresses I will come back and uh, show what's going on this is a complete job of this bathroom renovation. I think this house is built in 1970 something. And so it had a lot of the old material that we're all used to with the older bathrooms. And I did not do the tear out, which is why I don't think I had the before video. But anyway, um, getting back to this bathroom, it used to be a tub. So this is a shower, specifically a shower to tub conversion. However, um, the whole bathroom got renovated. so. When the customer did the tear out, they took out all the sheetrock, all the way up to the ceiling, all the way around. So I came in with, with backer board. I came in with, uh, was it Hardy? I came in with Dura Rock. They definitely wanted Dura Rock on here, so that's what they got. And of course that got red guarded before all the tiling got put on. Um, this tile is a large format tile. This is a 24, 18, 18 by 24 large format stone looking tile with a little transition at the front and a brand new sink which is not plumbed in yet because well because some holes have to be drilled in the bottom there to get the supply lines that come out from the floor and that's something else I had to manipulate in order for that to work before anything happened. The toilet is brand new it's a low flow toilet the reason I like this toilet these are the toilets that actually just set in the actual there's there's a flange up underneath and that sits to the floor and that flange is one big thing that goes on to the wax ring. The wax ring is actually flipped upside down and goes on top of it. And then it has a little trough, for lack of a better term, a pipe in, into the back that goes up like this. And then the back of the toilet actually sets down inside of that pipe. So there's, there's no wax ring. There's nothing to take out of here. It's just beautiful. I love it. Um, literally taking this out if you notice there's no bolts there's no bolts on the side of this toilet so nothing's holding it down except there's a rod that goes in the side there I think uh, yeah you see the hole there so there is a rod that goes inside of it but it's so heavy that thing would never go out plus you have to lift it out of that tube in order to pull the toilet out but all the water goes straight into that tube and then turns into that tube and then goes into into the sewage and that's just beautiful I love it so if you ever need to take this toilet out you don't have to worry about a wax ring you just simply unhook the supply line and literally pull it up and out and it's done and then if you want to put it back you just pull push it back down into that hole in the back and yeah I can't say enough about it and I wish I knew the brand the manufacturer but I just love them I think I've put in about three of these so far in my lifetime and every time I do I just I, I get thrilled because it's so so easy. So this is the new sink. This is a new fixture that they put in and this is a nice little piece of furniture. I like it a lot. Um, they are doing all the painting and the sheetrock stuff and everything. I have nothing to do with that. 
and there will be a medicine cabinet I think here eventually. Anyway, getting back to the shower, um, this is a 2x2 two two, obviously on a mat that got set in here and um, gray grout got put in. Um, she did the prefab niches, so there's a small niche at the bottom. I did not build these, they were plastic and, and so it got set into a, between the 2x4s. This is another, another medium sized one and then this was actually a large one where she wanted to make up some room, have a shelf and so I put in a shelf with a bullnose on the front of it. Um, so that it becomes kind of two niches in one. Um, and then she wanted this glass border all the way up to the ceiling and vertically. So there's, you can see there's no border on this tile at all. The window was already here and so there was a little angst trying to figure out the configuration there. Because if, if I had shown the before video, you would have seen all the wood and the wood trim and all this stuff. Even though it's a plastic window, all the original trim was there and it, and it caused a lot of issues. and. I had to rework the wood inside of here and it, it took up a whole day just to do that. And then trimming it out with the Schluter strips and the corner pieces worked out pretty well. But um, it's all very tenuous when I'm starting. I, I have a vision of how I'm going to make it work and sometimes it works and sometimes it don't and in this case it works. So the same Schluter strips got put on both the left and the right side and uh, a new shower valve. Um, the shower valve will control this thing. I have another video where I do, where I kind of show how this thing works, so I'm not going to get into it right now. Um, oh, by the way, square, square drain, which I don't normally do. I like the round ones, so I can do my tile a little higher than the drain on the square drains. I can't. My tile has to butt up against it, so anyway, that got done. Anyway, this piece is body sprays. I, I, I'll link the video on how all that stuff works later. But there's body sprays on there that are built in diverter and a shower head, a large shower head goes on this telescoping type arm. Not really telescoping, but anyway, um, there's a hose in the back of here which actually fits onto that nipple which I put there um, assuming where this whole thing was going to set. So it has a couple of screws that hold it down onto the wall and then it gets caulked in the side and that female goes onto the male nipple and then it just gets plastered on the wall. And that becomes your everything. That's your on and off. That's your uh, that's your body sprays. That's your shower head and all that stuff. And then plus the mixer I put in. So that's what's going to happen there. I don't know where it goes. So as soon as I'm instructed on where it goes, it will get installed. And as I said, I will link the video on how this thing actually works um, in the description box if you want to see it. So this is a nine-day job, start to finish, and I am out of here. Oh, the contiguous curb tops that I like so much. She was able to get a marble one, and that got put in, which I really love, because then you don't have to do any grout lines on top of it. And there's a slight overhang on the inside. It overhangs by about maybe a quarter, about a quarter inch of overhang, so I like that. And uh, that's it. That's all I can say about this bathroom. I'm, I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm on to the next job. And uh, this, this is a little different than what I normally do, so it was kind of cool, but it was a lot of work. But uh, on to the next one. Bring it to me, bring your